Gamer with Lime here, and today I'm going to be talking about a service called Restream. So if you've ever caught one of my live streams, you have probably have heard me say before that I'm streaming to more than one location at a time, and Restream is what actually makes this possible. So Restream is a service where you basically just stream to one location, and it actually will send your stream out to different locations for you. So first of all, you can't do this directly from the console itself. You will need to have a capture device that is capable of streaming, or you can use your OBS software. You can download that, which is absolutely free to download OBS. So first of all, what you're going to do is go to restream.io. You're going to make an account there, and then what you're going to have to do is once you're on your dashboard, you can go ahead and add your channels that you want to broadcast your stream to. So we can go ahead, we can click on our add channel, and you can go through the locations. Obviously, you'll have to set up all the credentials for each and every location that you're going to add onto your restream. So here I have four different locations, Smashcast, which was Hitbox, Mixer, which was Beam, Twitch, and then YouTube. So these are the four different locations that I can possibly restream to right now. Like I said, you can add more. I can take away one. And obviously, too, let's say I don't want to broadcast these all the time. You can go ahead and turn them off and on. It's as simple as a click on the uh, restream page. So we will go through a little bit of stuff here. First of all, I'm just going to talk about what each and every single spot does in here. If you go to the titles itself, this will be the title of your actual gameplay. So instead of having to update it on every single one, we can go ahead and put it in the top. I'm just going to put test. Three. And as soon as I do update all, what's going to happen is every single one of these pages is going to say updated. Now, the only thing you can't change from this bar up here is the name of the game that you're actually playing or what you're broadcasting. So you can go ahead, click on each one, and put in your game and then update. So that's fairly simple up there. Now, if we get the social alerts, you can tie your Twitter in, you can tie your Facebook in, and this will be the message that you're going to send out to those locations. So obviously, if you're going to be starting the stream and you want to get a notification out on your Twitter and your Facebook and say, hey, come watch me. I'm live right now. You would actually put it in as a message. Go ahead and update that. And when you go live, what will happen is, is this will broadcast whatever message you have here to those locations. Now, the chat box itself, what will happen is, is obviously you can't watch, you know, two, three, four, five streams all at the same time. That's going to be impossible to do. So what you can do, you can go to the restream chat. You can download their app, and what I've done is download it, and then I've went ahead and pinned it on my taskbar on the bottom. And that way, as soon as I want to load it up, I'm ready to go. So I'm just going to show you guys the OBS software first, and then I'll get to how the uh, Restream app, you can, you can actually see the, uh, not the Restream app, but the actual chat app, I should say. So we'll go ahead, we'll just go back to here, go to our dashboard. Now, if you look here, this is your RTMP URL, okay, and it shows you different locations. And obviously, if you're, you know, in the U.S. East or Canada East, you're not going to pick a location that's like, say, in Amsterdam. You just don't want that. The broadcast is going to be too far away. You're going to want something that's as close as poss possible to you. Um, this is going to be your stream key. Now, your stream key you do not want to share with anybody because what will happen is, is that means that people can actually send their stream your location now it's okay if you guys are doing a split channel with somebody then obviously you could do it that way but the whole point is is that if you're just you know you're broadcasting by yourself you're not sharing your channel with anybody then you want to make sure that your content that's going on your channel is approved content by yourself so like i said you would not want to show your stream key to anybody if for some reason you think maybe somebody possibly has it you would just go ahead and click refresh it will give you a brand new key so we're going to just go over to the OBS software itself. I'm just going to maximize this out. Now, what you would do in your OBS is in your settings. Now, I'm not going to go through a lot of settings on OBS because this is not a tutorial on how to show you how to set up your OBS. This is a tutorial to talk about using the Restream. So we're going to click down on the Stream tab. This will be Streaming Services. Okay, and then obviously in a pull-down menu, there are several here. Restream. Uh, Twitch, YouTube, Smashcast, Beam Pro. So it's basically got everything covered. So it's not an issue. And what you would do is put in your location. Okay. 
Because what it is is a bunch of presets. When you go into that location, it's a bunch of presets in your uh, OBS that already knows how each and every single service works. So all you do is pick the location that matches what you're showing on your restream, which is right there. That's the US East Washington. So you, you go ahead and make sure that matches. And then your stream key right here, I'm not going to click on it because like I said, I don't want to have to reset mine. But your stream key right here across in this location would actually be what's underneath right here. And when you click on this, it'll actually show your full key. So it's not an issue that you have to memorize it. It's just the fact that it's there and you don't want anybody to see it. So as soon as you go into OBS, you set all this up. You can go down under there for your output. Now, I have my bit rate set at 5,000. You may want to actually change your bit rate to something different. For me, I find 5,000 is a fairly reliable source for me. But you may actually want to go lower. Possibly you may want to go higher. The big thing is, is that when you're on Twitch, for example, Twitch does not give the option to go at a lower rate, I don't believe. So it's possible that you may end up not being able to have viewers if their connection is too slow to be able to watch your stream. So, but for me, like I said, I have mine set at 5,000. It's not an issue for myself. So I'm just going to go okay here. Now what's going to happen is, is that basically when we start streaming, when I hit start streaming on here, it's going to go ahead and send it to restream. Now I'm just going to check on restream itself, make sure all my channels are off for the time being. And I'll just show you a little demonstration here. We'll go into the OBS. I'm going to hit start streaming. What will happen is on the restream page itself, you're going to see on the right hand side here, this little window will actually change to show that my stream is up. So there we go. Whatever I'm showing in OBS right now is actually going to the restream service. Now, because I have my channels off, it's not being broadcast to any other location. So like I said, whatever channel you decide that you want it um, broadcast to, you would stick, simply click this on before you started your broadcast. We'll just go ahead. We'll cancel that for you guys. Now, the other thing, too, is that in your, I'll just click on this app right now. Like I said, this is the chat app that I've pinned it to my taskbar. When it starts, it'll show what channels are added. Now, I'm just going to stop my stream for the time being. Just so that I don't broadcast out to any channels. I'm going to go back into here. And it's going to show whatever location that I have enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and I click on Mixer. And what will happen here is you will see this change to one out of one. Okay, when you click on that, it's showing I'm logged in. Now, obviously, if you had, say, four channels connected and it had a three out of four, that means one of the channels itself is not connected for some reason. So it's as simple as that. When that comes up, you can actually reply to all chats. Or, for example, I can reply to a specific chat. But like I said, this allows you to keep um, all your information inside of your, your chat because it's hard to follow everybody at the same time. Now I'm just going to quickly click on this link here. I'll just show you. Um, embedded chat in Steam. When you click on that, you will actually be given a web page. I'm not going to open it up because I don't know if, it's, if it is specific for my content necessarily. So what I'm just going to do is, is I'm just going to basically explain this. When you click on that link inside, you will have a thing there that shows a web page and you will have a spot that says copy. You go ahead and copy that. And then in your OBS itself, you can go ahead and click on plus, And then you would do a browser source. And then on here, this is where you would put that URL that's actually in the other spot from the chat. So you would put it into here, and then what happens is, is that this would be displayed on your uh, actual stream itself. So it may be an easier way to keep track of chat. So now that we've shown you from OBS, what we're going to do is show you on the Elgato software itself. So I'm just going to click on my Elgato software. I have it open up in the background here. And what you would do, there is an actual spot where it has, you can do plus, Obviously, you would do your RTMP. I already have it set up in here, so I'm not going to do it. But your RTMP, what you would take is make this, give it an account name. Now, your RTMP URL, you would take this spot right here, take that and copy it and paste it in here. Your Steam or Stream key, I should say, 
it's optional on here, but you would go ahead if you need it for your software, whatever your device happens to be. Like I said, this is just for the Elgato, so I'm not sure about the other ones, but you would go ahead, copy this key into there. And it's as simple as that. And basically, I'll just show you, this is my restream again. I'm gonna make sure that everything is turned off for the time being. I'm just gonna go ahead, I'll start the stream. And you'll see this actually change in a second here. It'll show that it's live. Or it should show this live, there we go. So it's showing you on my page what's live for the time being. I can just go ahead and click down on here so you can see what's happening there. And like I said, there'll be a little bit of delay in it from here, and then it's going to broadcast it out. So it will add a few seconds of delay on top of your original stream. So that is one disadvantage to using it. But it is a way that you can stream to multiple channels at the same time. So in a second here, I did stop streaming, and we should see here that this should stop also. Sometimes the page doesn't necessarily refresh, and as soon as you refresh the page itself, it'll show it down. So which might be the case in mine today. So I'm just gonna hit refresh here on my page and you'll be able to see that I am offline. So that sort of gives you a rundown on how to use the Restream, Restream service. So I hope this video has helped you guys out. If you've had any questions on how to use the Restream app, or not the Restream app, but the Restream service itself, uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe down below, and we will talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.